Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Knitting in the Heights. I'm Chrissy. Um, it's about 6.50 something. We're waiting on Gabriel's bus. Uh, it should be here soon, really soon. Uh, we slept really well last night. We went to bed super early, so that feels better. Um, so we're catching up on sleep, and Gabe is um, eating his cinnamon toast waffle. I just had some more of that hash that I had made last night um, with Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes and ham. It's a really tasty way to start your, your morning, actually. Um, I'm going to open my day 10 of the Lay Family Yarns Witch's Stocking um, to get today started. Let's see. Oh, wow, it's an orangey and green one. Yay, it's like a pumpkin. I love this one. It really is pumpkin-y. How cool. So I'll put this with my other yarns and um, now we see, let's see what we get up to today. Located on the campus of NYU is Furman Hall. This building is the home of the law department at NYU. This hall stands on the former home of Edgar Allan Poe. In 2001, NYU dismantled the former Poe residence to make room for this building, but it rebuilt the facade to resemble Poe's residence and established a Poe room dedicated to the author. This room is open one day a week for folks to come in and take a look around. There are celebrations of Poe's works that are held every year in the building. But what has surprised visitors most, and students, is that Edgar Allan Poe has been seen climbing down the stairs. 